The Foundry was founded in 1996, originally as a, a company writing plugins. So we've been around for a fairly long time. We have uh, people on staff who were barely born when we started, so that's how long it's been going. And um, we did that for a number of years. We produced some great plugin sets, including one that won um, an Academy Award. Um, so we're very proud of that kind of plugin history. And um, after a bit, we got into the market of actually doing apps. And our first serious application was the Nuke application, which originally came out of Digital Domain. And so now Nuke is widespread in compositing. And that was a big move for us. And I think one of the things that has uh, kept us interested is that every few years, maybe even every year, we kind of do something new and exciting and different. And Nuke was a key milestone in that kind of thinking. And every application since then has also been kind of vital to our growth of our company. So taking on products like uh, Mari, uh, Katana, um, developing our own products internally like Hero. Um, and a, a big thing worth mentioning is the um, the merger we did a couple of years ago with, it, with Luxology, which brought the uh, Moto product into the whole suite of products as well. And it didn't kind of even stop there. So uh, we've also picked up things and mark brought them to market like um, the Flix product, which is a storyboarding product that originally came out of Sony Picture Imageworks. So really for me, it's been a roller coaster where every year something new happens um, and it seems a bit unstoppable. So there are many things I can't say, um, but there's a lot of fun stuff happening. Um, there's a lot of internal development. So we, we churn ideas over a lot inside the company, trying to develop new things all the time. Uh, some of which we hope will see the light of day. As far as things that motivate us, there's a lot of forces driving um, the way we create software. So there is certainly a move towards making software more accessible in many different ways. So we look at different pricing models all the time. We look at how the interfaces to products are designed so they can over time become more powerful but less technically demanding at the same time. Um, and this just seems to be a generally good trend to follow, making stuff more accessible in terms of uh, how the artists interact with it and, and perceiving that people these days are more artists than technicians and that's kind of an important thing uh, for us to follow through on. Um, so a lot of our, that informs all of our software development. There's a lot of work we're doing around uh, research work into uh, new ways that people use cameras. Uh, the new ways that people use multiple cameras and the kind of ways people use uh, scanning devices which are starting to become available on even things mobile devices. So there's a whole bunch of that kind of tech that drives us all day every day. Um, as far as other trends go, we have a lot of customers now who rely upon cloud-based services to do their work, so we look at that a lot. Um, we put a vast amount of effort over the last couple of years, uh, maybe two or three years really, into really improving how we address uh, education, so uh, having uh, teams at the Foundry who really worry about the educational market, uh, what products we make for it, how do we worry about um, uh, who teaches what and um, what skills does the industry need to be taught and how can we help that kind of process. So it's a big mishmash of a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah, so we've known the Chaos Group for a long, long time, like those guys, love their technology, uh, are very pleased, I guess, privileged that they have uh, done so much integration work with us so that we can now, um, going into beta now with uh, uh, the uh, V-Ray for Moto, uh, V-Ray for Nuke, and for a long time we've already collaborated with them on V-Ray for Katana, and so having that kind of... Uh, validation from a, a, a renderer developer like the Chaos Group using V-Ray is for us is really huge. We have a lot of uh, Moto customers who, for example, in their day job depend a lot upon V-Ray and a great V-Ray fan. So expanding that ecosystem with third parties for us is huge.